Hi, I'm Ola Pigman, and I'm the director of the Settlement Schools Dyslexia Program. We've been very busy during the last few months working with our Reading Corps volunteers in our public schools in Knott, Perry, and Leslie counties. Also, our after-school tutoring program has now been going on for 12 weeks, and we will be doing <clears throat> we will be doing readouts to measure progress uh, starting on April the 19th. Uh, we've had 49 excuse me, 41 students participating virtually in the after-school tutoring program. Uh, we had students from 12 counties here in Kentucky, as well as six, county, or six students participating from Georgia. We've finally, finally been able to resume uh, doing screenings of children for characteristics of dyslexia. We screened eight students last week, and we have eight more students scheduled for this week. It looks like uh, we will also have to do at least two additional screenings in the next month in order to catch up on all the people who've requested screenings. Our local schools have been in session now uh, since January with about 60% of students attending in person for most of the semester. Uh, the biggest difference that we have seen is that there is just more structure, consistency, and organization from one day to the next. Uh, most of our schools will be ending uh, the year in early May, so we will start our readouts with our students later this month so as not to interfere with the state testing that's done, that will be done in May. We'll continue to pull students for tutoring, however, for as long as possible, even after we've done our readouts. Uh, we did a, a countywide drive through literacy night here in Knott County a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Darley Parton and the Easter Bunny were both there, and the children were all very excited and really enjoyed it. Uh, our AmeriCorps tutors participated in this, and they helped distribute information about our programs and distributed books to all of our children who attended. Uh, we have started to make definite plans for, summer for our summer school program. Uh, this year we're going to be offering a hybrid setting with 15 local students doing traditional, uh, our traditional program in person. Uh, reading, math, and writing instruction will all be one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, students will receive two hours of daily instruction in both reading and math and one hour of instruction in writing. They will also receive one hour of arts instruction and 30 minutes of physical education in groups of five. We will be providing lunch to those students uh, in our di dining room. In addition uh, to our in-person tutoring, we'll be offering virtual instruction to as many as 30 students. Uh, this will consist of two hours of reading instruction, one hour of writing instruction, and one hour of arts instruction. Unfortunately, we, excuse me, unfortunately, we will not be offering math instruction virtually. However, if we're able to get everything together, we may offer math to three students on a trial basis. Okay. Arts instruction will include photography, uh, cooking, theater, storytelling, and drawing and painting. We have received grants to pay for the visiting artist who will be doing our arts program, and we will also be utilizing AmeriCorps volunteers for most of our tutoring during summer school. We will not be boarding students on campus this year. Okay, I want to thank everyone for your support of our program. Uh, we appreciate it very much and the people in our community really appreciate it also. Uh, everyone stay safe 